Charting survey results in Excel could be very tricky and a lot of time the quality of the chart or the visuals of the chart could lead to a very big difference in the quality of the discussion. So for example, if I show you here, I have some survey results from strongly disagree to strongly agree and I have a few metrics. A lot of time what we would do in Excel is just select this and go to insert and then under insert you have here some 2D bars and then if you select this you can get this kind of charts. If you see here I have the strongly agree and so on here, I don't want them, I want actually the opposite. So I right click, select data, switch row and column and I get something like this. If I look at this, I have the number of people who are in each category for each type of metric. The problem is if I show this in a meeting, it is very hard to make anything of it and understand really what has happened, right? What should be the action course here? It's very hard to know. So instead we can do something like this, which looks much neater and shows you the percentage of people that are on the positive side and the percentage of people on the negative side. So let's start and let's do it together. First step, here you have the data. So I'm gonna copy paste the data. So I'm gonna select it, Control C. I go here, I do paste, paste special, paste link. I'm gonna remove the zero and then I'm gonna play my first trick. If you see here, I have positive values and negative values. What does it mean? It means that everything that is on this side, I have to put a minus for it. So strongly disagree, we're gonna put a minus in front of the B2 and here we're gonna put a minus. Then we can drag those two formulas down and then the trick is completed. Second trick, if you see here the neutral, part of it is on the negative and part of it is on the positive, right? So what will I do? I'm just gonna select this, move it like this, as you can see, select another neutral column. Then we're gonna divide this neutral into two. So we're gonna do this divided by two and we're gonna drag it down by double clicking here. And here we're gonna do this divided by two and we put the minus because we want it on the other side. Same thing, we're gonna drag it. There you go. If you see here, I still have my 31 value, but half of it is on this side, half of it is on the other side. Now we're gonna try to insert a chart and I'm gonna show you the problem that you're gonna encounter. So let's select the data, do insert, we click here, we go to all charts, and then we can select bars. We have this one, for example, and we can say, okay. If you see here again, I have the strongly, I agree, etc. on the axis. I want the opposite. I want them as a legend. So I right click, select data, switch row and column, and we have this. So if you see here, the labels are coming on the graph and I don't want this. So how to fix this? I'm gonna click on them, right click, format axis. I go here on the bottom, I have label, and then here I have label position. You have to select low. When you select low, they are here. So everything is good. The problem I'm facing, if I close this, is that if you see here, strongly disagree is coming here. Disagree is here and neutral is here. But what I want, I want the opposite. I want neutral here, disagree in the second position and strongly disagree here. So what I'm gonna do is just switch them. So here we go. We just take them, we put them here, we take neutral, we put it here, and then we put this one back here. So let's remove the chart and put it again. So we go here and we do insert, we select the right chart, so all chart, bars, select this. This one that I selected is here. We do this, we click on this, right click, format axis, labels, low. And then if you see, I have strongly disagree here now, 
disagree is here and neutral is here next we need to take care of the colors so for the colors you click on this one you go to the bucket and you select the color that you like I personally like this one here I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna select this blue here I need a gray so I'm gonna select this gray same for this one this is gray then here we have orange which is fine and here I'm gonna select some kind of red so now we have this next we have our axis which is not looking very nice so I'm selecting it to make sure you select it you can come here and check so I have the axis and I can change the color of the line here so I'm gonna make it black so we have the color of the line we click on those grid lines one time we press delete they are gone and then we need to play with the legend so if you see here I have a second neutral that I don't want you see I have neutral and neutral so I can click one time two time on neutral press delete it's gone the last problem I'm facing is that if you see I have disagree then strongly disagree on the legend and I want the opposite so how to fix this well there is a trick I'm gonna show you so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move this here then we're gonna do another disagree here with no data and I'm gonna add this series to the chart select then I do add series name disagree series values I take the empty values I say okay and then I can move it up so for example if I put it between strongly disagree and neutral you can see that disagree comes here only problem is the color so that's not a big issue we need to know what is this color so we can click here right click format data series we can check the color here so we do more colors custom is 237 125 and 49 so we can come one time two times we click we have the color here if we want or we can just go there and just insert it so I'm just gonna select the color here and then I have it I close this I click on disagree two times I delete it so now my legend is okay I do survey result and then what I want to do is click on this do bold so they look nicer and then I click on the chart right click format chart area we don't want any fill we don't want any line we close this we get our survey result we make it a bit bigger so it's nicer last trick I want to show you is that if I hide this I lose everything in order to resolve the problem we can right click on the chart to select data hidden and empty cells we do show data in hidden row and columns and then we say okay we can bring this chart here and there you go so as you can see just a few steps and then you can make this kind of charts so i hope you like this lesson please let me know in the comment section whether you have ever used this methodology and what other methodologies you use for charting survey results.